Hello, hi you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you are on my channel, hi Makangsha. Welcome to another vlog. It is a Wednesday morning. I woke up, I worked out, I had lunch, I edited a video, I uploaded a video, and I'm going to go for a laser today. Um, so you know, you guys can see that as well because a lot of you guys generally ask me about the laser questions. If you want to like know a proper Q and A about laser, then I'll put a video here which I've done before. You can see that. But this is just generally like you know going there and seeing it. It's not a sponsored thing or anything. I've been doing laser since there since a while. They are sponsoring me for it. Like I mean, they're providing. the service but i'm not obligated to do the video but i just thought you know you guys were always curious so i'll take you along and especially today i'm actually also uh, starting face laser so all this while i just did like hands legs and bikini uh, sorry all this while i just did hands and legs but this time i'm starting face and bikini as well so it's going to be a long procedure because hands and legs alone used to take me like 2 hours and now bikini and face together would me easily take me like 3 hours again traveling to us is going to be a long the for me today so for face i'm starting my laser finally after like a really long time so i actually had gone through laser before when i was like 18 so like 5 years um ago i got done like 10 sessions almost and but the thing is it did not work out for me i have pcod and one of my biggest um, like you know what do you say symptom is uh, uh, unwanted hair even now i did not shave for like a week so it's really so bad and this is something i was always been a little insecure about and somebody like you know points out and looks in my hair if you touch it so pokey all this time like since years since i stopped my laser i used to shave for a while but it was so like thick and hard that i had to start epilating it or like basically removing from the root so i started epilating it and i've been epilating it since like for years now i think 3 um, 4 years i'm just epilating it but recently what happened is like because i've been epilating it so much i'm basically epilator it removes from the root i started getting a lot of ingrown hair here so like there are a lot of black spots which i started coming which i did not like so i thought why not just get uh, this part lasered as well and it's qu quite thick you guys it's not fine hair at all it's um, you know a side effect for my pcod the hair is very very um, thick and i really want to get rid of it because epilating is not really working out for me so Anyways, we're going to go. So yeah, so we are going to go uh, start my face a uh, laser today, and uh, we're going to do bikini as well. It's already one o'clock. I'm getting pretty uh, late. My appointment is at two thirty. Yeah, so I need to start in like ten minutes so that I reach there on time. It'll take me one hour in just like traveling. So let's go. So I got six sessions of my uh, laser done for my legs, but I still have a lot of growth and a thick growth. So I I might need a couple more uh, sessions. Hands I've done for, and the growth is so less. My I'm telling you, I'm the hairiest person you can ever find. Like everybody in my uh, family is so hairy. Like I have three thick, coarse hair, uh, but it has reduced so much, and the growth rate has also reduced so much. So probably if you have like medium hair, you can be done in like six seven sessions. But I do have. really thick hair and really fast growth um so i might need like a few more uh, uh sessions so like for hands i have two more and i think two more for hands would be good because you know see the hair growth is very minimal on hands but for my legs i might need like more three or four and for my face and bikini let's go and ask the doctor i just wore black jeans i'm not going to get like you know ready or anything i'll just apply sunscreen because you know i have to go there and get laser done so there's no point of uh, applying makeup or anything
just booked my cab. It's going to be here in 15 minutes. Oh my god. These days it's so difficult to get cabs for some reason. I have to carry my camera, so I have to take the bigger bag. So my pink cup take. Wow, no pull a dead end building. Not finding my wallet. I forgot the camera. Okay, so I reached Skin Lab and uh, just started like the laser. So there are three steps to laser. One is shaving, then they apply the cooling gel and then they, you know, do the laser. So the doctor only do, uh, does the laser here. Uh, the shaving part and all some other lady does. So I'm doing like face, bikini, legs and hands, right? So the first I'm doing legs and hands and then they'll do f my face and bikini. I also have... Uh, breakouts right now so like they said they'll consult the doctor before we start doing the laser so my growth is pretty like thick so let's see how that goes but for now she starts shaving and then there's gel and then there's um, laser there's all this like markings which they do so start off is it a car? Yes, So, there is this like entire black dots I have on my nose, which I always thought were black kids, but the doctor just said that is also hair. So, we are going to like do the laser. She said uh, because I have active acne, I should be more careful. Probably like do peels in between because kind of laser even um, aggravates the acne a little bit more, especially because I already have active acne. So, she said we'll do the laser now, but if in case your acne gets triggered, we will, uh, you know, do some peels in between. So. <laughs> Okay, so because the bikini area is very sensitive, they kind of applied like a numbing cream uh, and they said like it needs to be on for 30 minutes and then they will do the laser. So I did not see this anywhere. So this is pretty cool so that I don't feel the pain. I was so afraid for it because bikini is so sensitive and usually it's little pigmented area, right? So um, I thought, you know, it'll hurt. But luckily they did like something like a numbing thing, especially only for bikini that is like for the rest of the body, like for face and everything, they don't have like that. This is just for bikini so that it does not hurt. So we're waiting for 30 minutes to be done and they do my bikini and hands, legs, then face. Face, I'm so scared, my skin will purge. But this happens generally like when I shave also. Uh, so that's the reason I stopped shaving. I think, let's see, like I don't know if it'll be I, but... Uh, I hope not. I um, didn't like lips, face, everything last time, like I said, five years ago. So this area is pretty controlled. Only this area is my major concern. And I showed the doctor like how thick it is. She said like we handle such kind of hair all the time. Don't worry, it'll completely go off. And the machinery they have is like a lot more advanced than what it was five years ago also, I believe. So... Okay, so there is this food place I always, always order from whenever I go to Skin Lab. It's California Burrito Bowl. I love their Mexican food. The tacos are amazing. The burrito bowls are amazing. Like everything is so good. And I always have this. And I'm so excited to try this. And thank God I ordered a taco this time as well. Because as, after I ate the taco, when I was about to eat my favorite bowl, I realized they did not give me a spoon. I was so, 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 so sad, man. I was so hungry and I could not eat that. And I just like had to wait until I got to my friend's house to take a spoon to eat that because I can't eat with that with a hand in a cab, right? And that was so damn disappointing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Amma's amazing chocolate. Oh, no? It's amazing. Thank you. Tonight, dessert. Mm. This is nice, no? I'm not gonna eat anything. It's so chocolatey. Yeah. Chocolatey hundi hundi and kutta thing turns into. Like, natural chocolate. Apropo. 
ఫోటో తీస్తాడు ఫోటో తీస్తా so couple of days after the laser um not couple of days almost a week later that day i had such a long day i went like to laser then i had to go to my friend's house and i was i ended up at all the friend's house and was there like the whole night so uh that was it but update on the laser i did get a few breakouts actually a lot of breakouts so but it's also because that day i ate so much shit like i ate so much cheese and so much junk that one day and have been like since a while so i don't know if it's just um it's the laser or the food because my skin reacts to anything like bad skin care food like anything like it instantly reacts so i honestly that's the reason i cannot pinpoint and tell what is the reason for my breakouts because it randomly keeps happening um but it is at a pretty good stage like after the laser was done i was um, i kept it like makeup free for the next 3 or 4 days because i just did not want to like aggravate it more because i already had like existing acne so i did not like do makeup for 3 4 days i just let it be and let it breathe but i do have breakouts like you can see but all these are like you know subduing these though i had even before i got got laser so it's not even a that like i got like one two three tiny bumps here and there so probably that i googled everybody like google is there no to know why you break out so so the reason was like you know when you do laser your pores kind of open so um you know, it is it's easy for things to collect and it's a little sensitive so you kind of get like congested skin really easily so there's a, a chance to get like tiny milia kind of thing that tiny comedons which you get and those are only the ones i got here and there for me also i got those and i got few breakouts here and there as uh, uh, well again i was breaking out before that so i'm not really sure what was the reason uh, behind it next time i do laser i will probably understand it but um, yeah that was the procedure it literally took 4 hours that day to like to finish the whole uh, thing uh, coming to bikini i was so 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 scared for bikini especially for the pain uh, because um, I, like in let's talk about pain first like laser hair removal for me was never like full painful or anything like i can do epilating i can do laser so easily i have quite a high threshold of pain but even people who do not have it's not that difficult the first two three sessions the feeling is a little more because the hair is a lot more stronger thicker so like the first two sessions kind of can be a little like you can feel the gunshots but it's not like unbearable pain at all it's very like you know if like ants bite you some prick kind of thing but it's not as extensive or painful it's just for like that my microsecond and it does not hurt you after that so like for i had that pain like little bit when i started doing my legs initially to like two three sessions they just like go on like you know up to down and it does not pain at all uh, but later today after like so many months i for hands also it never pain for me but i know like you know face and bikini is going to be the first time and i have pretty thick hair so i was like you know it might pain a little bit and becky bikini i was so much more scared because you know it tends to be like a little more pigmented also the hair is pretty thick also but like the numbing cream helps so much i don't know how it would be be without that i don't know if it would be very bad or i don't know how it would be but uh, with that i literally did not feel like anything little minimum what i feel on my hands and legs also i do not feel uh, down there so that was like great i'm like you got me sorted the place it pain the most was my this area like literally like she did two shots and i'm like it was hurting and i was like she's like you her stress balls and i was holding stress stress balls the entire time uh, but yeah like i know one to sessions later this will also go is just like the first session so it's fine so yeah that was like the hair and bikini uh, experience my hair again did grow out like in 2 3 days and it is casual to happen like the first 2 3 sessions you cannot expect the results to be seen instantly like from third fourth session like it comes really cool i think that's my experience it could be again different for different people so it did grow out and i also did already shave yesterday because i told you 
very thick hair even bikini has grown out my arms and legs there's no growth though because see it's been like fifth or fourth session so like literally no growth it's been one week my face and bikini did grow out so yeah that's uh that uh and that's it for this video i hope it was useful you guys are always curious about the laser hair removal experience so i thought i'll vlog it for you guys this video shout out goes to akshita g thank you akshita for always loving and supporting it means the world to me if you also want to be part of uh, next video shout out then all you have to do is comment below and use the hashtag aks and you can be a part and that's it thank you so much for watching if you like this video and you feel like what i do then make sure you like share and subscribe okay i don't know why i suddenly turned into a, a rapper there's this guy you know these people do a video i'm not going to talk another video we'll talk later that's it for this video okay bye